Another example of eddy currents that are sometimes seen in demonstrations of Faraday's law uh, can be seen in the magnetic breaking of a rotating disk. So here we have a rotating disk that's uh, rotating with an angular velocity shown here of omega. Now, what if we took that disk and moved it as it's rotating clockwise in between the poles of these magnets? Well, if that were the case, then there'd be a confined magnetic field in this region, shown in the diagram right here. And so as it spins with angular velocity omega, then the um, wheel is passing through this uniform but confined magnetic field. So we should imagine a couple regions, a couple little slices of the spinning wheel. So let's take a look at this slice of the wheel that's just exiting the field so it has a velocity in this direction and let's look at this slice that's just starting to enter and it has a velocity in this direction so that's shown again right here and each one of these little dots represents a free electron within that portion of the metal so based on the right hand rule if there's a tangential velocity in this direction and all these electrons have velocity in that direction then well use the right hand rule point your thumb in the direction of the tangential velocity and point your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field meaning into the page and so you should find that there's a force pointing which way on these electrons the force would be pointing that way right and likewise, try it again with these electrons. They have tangential velocity roughly in this direction. So if you point your thumbs in that direction or your thumb in that direction and your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, then it's the same effect. So it seems as if the electrons, well, it doesn't just seem as if. That's the case. The electrons are forced toward the center of the wheel. But they can't all accumulate at the center of the wheel. That would leave you with positive charge on the outside and a big collection of electrons here so instead the electrons circulate and um, if the electrons circulate this way then that's consistent with having conventional current flow the other way right so we can say that current is flowing in a counterclockwise direction in this portion of the wheel. So that's shown in the next image. In this image here you can see the induced current is opposite the flow of the electrons or the drift of the electrons. So you have a clockwise eddy current in region A and you have a counterclockwise eddy current in region B. And so a force is exerted the very current that's induced, let's highlight the region we're interested in here. So let's look at this portion of the clockwise induced current. Well, that current is um, in the magnetic field, and so again, you can use the right hand rule. Point your fingers in the direction of this current, or your thumb in the direction of that current, point your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and that suggests that there's a force that points back in this direction. And so that would be a force that would produce a torque opposite the angular velocity, and it would slow the wheel down. So in this last picture here, uh, those force vectors are indicated. So there's a force pointing back to the right. There's a force pointing back to the right. This force is a force we're associating with the equation F equals BIL. So the magnetic field B that's confined in this region is interacting with the induced current I, um, and it creates a force or a torque that goes back in a counterclockwise direction to slow down the angular speed of the wheel. This is exactly how they control the resistance in a Peloton exercise bike. So in this region right here, you can't quite see it because it's shielded behind this little piece of plastic but if you could look underneath that plastic, this is what you'd see. So this is the 
top rim of the wheel and then here are the magnets and as you turn this knob on the bicycle it just makes the magnets move closer to the wheel and that force of interaction becomes that much stronger. So just one more example of eddy currents and magnetic braking. Thanks for watching.